ลีออนกูดมอร์นิ่งสตูเดนต์ฮาวอยู่ทุเรศเอ่อเพอร์ปี้ลีออนอายุชัวร์โอเคไอแอมแฮปปี้โอเค I want to know who j o i n our class Are you ready? Yes. Okay. First, uh, Johan. Johan absent. Okay. p o o m Johan a s e n t Thank you. I. I absent. Tan Tan. Present. Thank you, l e o n Present. Thank you, c o r c h Thank you, Pam. Pam, can you hear me? Pam. Oh, Pam d o n t h e r e Okay. j o m p o n j o m p o n j o m p o n absent. Chalam. Chalam. Absent. Who? Oh, it's the I think maybe late. Okay, DJ, DJ Joy, DJ, can you hear me? Okay, next bot, bot absent right? Okay, Chen, Chen, Chen absent. Okay, I d i n Present. Thank you. b o o m b o o m Can you hear me? b o o m Absent. Okay. b o o b o o Present. Thank you. Ing. Present. Thank you. n u m b e r one. Present. Thank you. Mobile. Present. Thank you, Tem Pha. Present. Thank you, Bang. Bang, Bang absent. Okay. q u n Khao. Present. Thank you, Kho h o n g Present. Thank you, Jasmine. Present. Thank you, Apple. Apple, Apple absent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. ย่าย่าย่าย่าแอบเซนนาเนียนาเนียแอบเซนโอเครายได้แอบเซนชาวเอื้องชาวเอื้องชาวเอื้องแอบเซนนี้นี้นี้นี้แอบเซนเทนนิสเทนนิสแอบเซน And then Nisha, can you hear me? And Nisha absent. Grape, grape absent. Milk, milk. And the last n o o d y n o o d y absent. Right? Okay. Student, turn on your camera, please. Okay. Let's go! Yay! Good morning, students. Welcome back for another reading class. Yes. Today we're going to not work from the book. I have prepared another story for us to read. It's about the fox and the little red hen. So we also have a couple of questions at the end of it. Let's see if we can get to that today. Otherwise, we will get to the questions the next time. But this is two pages: the fox and the little red hen. It is a, a fable, what we call in English, and the fable is a children's story. So I didn't write this story. This is a a known story in in English amongst young kids in the Western world. So first off, before we start, I just want to find out: Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yes. 
Are you ready? Yes. 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 Are you sure? sure? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay. So I will first I'll read the story. Then you guys, then you guys read, read it back, to, back me. to me. So I'll first I'll read, read page, page one, one. And then okay. I will I'll ask you to read it. Please, Please listen carefully. It, it is a, also a very also nice story. Nice story. Right. right. The fox, fox and the little and red, red hen. hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. Okay, so let's start again. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. She lived in a little white house and she had a little green garden. Every day, she worked in the house and garden. Near her home lived a family of foxes. One day, Mama Fox said to Papa Fox, I want a fat hen to eat. There was nothing in the pantry for the baby foxes. So Papa Fox started out to find something for them all. He ran down the road until he came to the woods. Surely I will find something here, he said. But he found nothing to eat in the woods. As he came near the little green garden, he said, oh, I smell fresh cake. Oh, I smell a little red hen. Sure enough, there was no. a... Yes? Sorry, I'm late. No problem. Welcome, Poom. Welcome. Welcome. We are just reading a little story, so you don't need the book. You can just join with us reading the story. Let's quickly read that part again. As he came near the little green garden, he said, Oh, I smell fresh cake. Oh, I smell a little red hen. Sure enough, there was the little red hen eating her cake. Papa Fox snuck up quietly behind her and grabbed her and put her in the bag on his back. Then he ran quickly down the hill towards his home. The little red hen was so frightened that she could only whisper, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that's the first page. So I want you guys to start from once upon a time. You can start, wait a minute, can we make, color, make it a color? You start from here and you can start now. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. There was a little red hen. All together, all together, yes. Come, come. Let's go all together. There was a little yeah. red hen, yes. Everyone lead together, please. Thing for 
So now the fox catch the little hen and put on his back. So now they are on the way to the fox's house. So let's read what the rest of the story tells us. So let me quickly, I'll, I'll read the first one again. And then I want you guys to read it after I'm finished. So let's see what they are saying here. Just then. She had to sneeze, and when she put her claw into her pocket for her handkerchief, she felt her little scissors. Quickly, as uh, quick as a flash, she took them out and cut a little hole in the bag. Peeping out, she saw a great hill just ahead, all covered with stones. As Papa Fox stopped to rest on his way up the hill, with his back turned towards her, she cut a big hole in the bag, jumped out, and quickly put a big stone in the bag in her place. As Papa Fox kept on up the hill, he thought the bag was pretty heavy. But he said, never mind, she is a fat little red hen. Mama Fox met him at the front door with all the baby foxes. The water is boiling, she said. What do you have in your bag? Asked the baby foxes. A fat little red hen, said Papa Fox. As he held the bag over the pot, he said to Mama Fox, when I drop her in, you clap on the lid. So he opened the bag Splash went the boiling water. It spilled all over Papa Fox and Mama Fox and the baby foxes. Never again did they try to catch the little red hen. Okay. So what happened to the end at the end here? 
they were splashed with water, boiling hot water because of the stone that the hen put in there. So they decide not to try and catch the hen ever again. Okay, so you guys can stop from just then. You can start there and we read one, this one more page and then we look at the questions. So you can start now. Just then. Just then. Just then. Just then. He to and, and when she put her, her into her, her pocket, pocket for her and her. her she handkerchief. 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 She fell. 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 Peeping out, yes. She saw she saw a red hill juice. Oh, 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 uh, she cut she up cut a big hole in the bed. Out, 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 and he put a big stone in the bed. In, in the bed, her place. As Papa Fox, as, as Papa Fox kept up, um, up, up the hill, he, he thought that was a cheat, but he sees. Never mind, he is fast. Yeah. 
The boiling water is over the cost of and the baby fox never again did they try to catch the little red Excellent, excellent. Well done, you guys. Thank you very much for those that read with us. Um, let's quickly just, let me just quickly explain the story again. So in the beginning, they talked about the little red hen having a white house living in and also having a little green garden and the baby baby foxes were hungry and the food was starting to finish so mama fox told papa fox to go catch them a little hen or a fat hen so papa fox went out he found the hen he put her in the bag and put the bag over his shoulder. And then he walked to a big hill on his way home. And as he was resting, the little hen cut a hole with her scissor and put a stone inside. And then when the Papa Fox got home, he thought he still had the hen, but the hen is not there anymore. There was only a big stone. So when he opened the bag over the water, all the boiling water spilled out onto his family. So that's basically our little story of what we are talking about here today, the fox and the little red hen. So we have some questions. We have some questions. Let's see how well we can answer them. Let's see how well we can answer them. Question one, what was the color of the hen's House. What was, what was the, color the color of the of hen's the house? house? I'll open on the first page so you can have a quick read and try and find the answer. Student answer location, please. Why how? Live in a little white house. So answer is a little white house. Little white house. And the answer is where's my stamp? Correct. Correct. Go up in a little white house. Did the yes, hen have a garden? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> now we have, we have two <laughs> different answers. Let's go back to the story. See what we can get. Oh, my answer is going to stay there as well. See if you can find the answer there. Then he say yes, and you don't say no. Let's see what is the answer. Yes, no, yes, no. Yes, no, yes, no. No, that's not the correct answer. Either yes, either no. I don't sure what. I think, <laughs> but I also know. Yes, I no. But read it, read the first paragraph, read the first paragraph and you will see. I'm very sure. I, I oh, yes. 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 She has a garden, a little green garden. She has a little green garden. A little. Oui. Where's my L? Little green garden. She has a little green garden. Yes. Yes. Okay. The next question we have over here. What did Mother Fox want to eat? 
What did mother fox want to eat? Red hen. A red hen. A red hen. Are you sure? Eat baby fox. Um, did the I'm mother want to eat baby fox? Very sure. Very, very sure. What did she, she wants to eat? The little red hen. The little, little red hen. Mm. I'm not so sure. I'm very sure. Very, very sure. You're very, very sure. Very sure. Um, I'm, not, I'm really not that sure. 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 Uh, little, little red hen. So uh, let's see, let's see. Jump, 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 jump. It is the, it is a hen, yes, it is a hen. But what does the story tell us? The story tells us something specific about the hen. Read carefully in the second paragraph. What did the mother ask the father that she wants to eat? There is a little red hen, but she did not ask him for a little red hen. Fat hen. A what? Fat hen. A fat hen. Yes. She wanted to eat a fat hen. Because if they had a hungry family, they need a fat hen to feed all of them. In. Chum, cha, chum, chum, cha, chum, chum, cha. Woohoo! That one is the correct one. So sometimes we have to read very carefully because I can also give you the answer and say it is correct, the little red hen. But because we are reading, we have to make sure we read very carefully because the, the, the title says, the, the title says a little red hen. But the mama hen didn't know about the little red hen. She just wanted to eat a fat one. And then the papa hen found, a papa fox found the little red hen. So let's read the next three questions. Next three questions. What was the hen eating? Hmm. Hmm. What was the hen eating? Who remembers? Let's see, let's see if you can find it. What was the hen eating? It was something delicious. Little red hen eating her cake. She was eating her cake. Let's see. Let's are you see, sure? Let's see. <laughs> let's see if you are sure. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Everybody, answer the question, please. I can't see it properly. Let me change the color. Let me quickly write it down here. She was eating her cake. I write it in black. There you go. She was eating a cake. Chum 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 chum. Yay! Good job. Good job. She was eating her cake. Why we can't see here? Uh, there was a little red hen. Eating her cake. Okay. Okay. okay, excellent, excellent, excellent answer, answer, you guys. Excellent, excellent answer. answer. The next one is five. What did the hen use to cut the bag? What did the hen use to cut the bag? Is the then what did he use a teacher? No, yeah. not a teacher. Sister, sister. <laughs> sister. Oh, okay. No, no. Sister. A 
Caesar. No. Yeah. no. No. I thought you say you, you use a, a Caesar no. of the teacher. The teacher helps the hand. We say Caesar. Say Caesar. Uh, we uh, sure. We no. How about How a about knife? knife? I know it's incorrect, but one million to say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, really cool. And she used her little scissor to cut first a small hole to look around and then a big hole to get out and put in the stone. Okay, the last question Did the foxes eat the red hen? Did yeah, the foxes, the foxes eat, eat the red hen? No. No. Why? Why? Why not? Why not? Can I read again, please? Well, <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. Let me just take just the, take answers, the answers, away answers away so you can see the see passage clearly. Mm. What do we think? Think that the foxes, the foxes eat the hen. Oh, he opened the bag, splash when the boiling water it spilled all over Papa Fox and Mama Fox and the Baby Fox. Never again did they try to catch the little red hen. So what do you, what think? Do you think? Yes or yes, no? Did they, they eat the fox? Or did they eat the little red, red hen? No. no. Because the little red, red hen escaped. escaped. So, so what the, what the question the says, did they eat them? No. Why? Why? Because, because the little, little red hen. Little red hen got, got away. away. She cut she a cut hole and replaced it with, with a stone. A stone. Also, also the foxes, the foxes will never try to catch the hen again. Okay, so let's see if your answers are correct. Chum, 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 chum. Yay, good job, Dennis. Very good. Very good answer. So they never will try to catch her again. Okay. That is our story, story about the hen and, and the fox. fox. So who can tell so me what we spoke about, about today? The hen. The hen. hen. What about what the about hen? What about the hen? The hen that ate some cake. Mm. The and the foxes, foxes that went that to went sleep to hungry. hungry. Mm. So the title the of the story, the story was? was? You can tell me who remembers the title of the story. Okay, today I will be kind. I'll tell you. The fox, the fox and the and little the red, red hen. That was our, that story. our story. So thank you guys thank for you guys participating. Let's, Let's quickly see. see. We have two we minutes have two left. Minutes we can play we can a play quick play round of rock, paper, paper, scissors.
before we go on a short break. Guys, I'll give you 10 seconds before we start. Get your hands nice and warm and ready. Student, turn on your camera, please. And you must always practice your signs so that you don't okay. make mistakes. Okay. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three. Shoot, shoot. Oh, hey. Jasmine and Leon and Paul. Oh, Congratulations. 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 Well done, you guys. Oh, today a lot of you beat the beat. Good job. Good day, a lot. Leon also winning a little bit more these days, which is always good. So congratulations to everyone that won. I will see you guys in about 20 minutes for mathematics. Uh, so yeah, have so a quick break, break, and I'll see you now. Now, bye bye. 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 Bye bye.